Alright fans, welcome to another crate here on Pastiche of Skin. Here we're doing the Halo Legendary Crate. For this month, I think this is actually, like, because these are like every two months, this one is the pre-Christmas one. I don't know if we're going to get one in December or in January, so this will be the Christmassy one, I suppose. If there's going to be any kind of theming for the Halo crates. And let's take a look on the inside! Well, of course, uh, <laughs> got our confidential information for our regular plans that they've been doing. The Spartan program, eyes only, top secret, first register for information. I'm sure there's an ARG or something going on with this, but uh, we'll just move that to the side for the moment. And we'll take a look at the clothing. Ooh, okay. Oh, looks like there's two pieces of clothing in here, so uh, let's take the first one and go out to the wine! How's it going, guys? Thank you very much for watching. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin for Loot Crates and the Loot Deliciousness that is the Halo Legendary Crate. These crates have been... I've liked the content in them. Um, even though I'm kind of over my Halo fascination from years and years back, I kind of don't care about Halo all that much. But I enjoy the the history and theming and the first three of the games in the series anyway. So this is a t-shirt. What is this here from? Shot your booth. Ah, nice. I actually like the design of this one. It's a little... I mean, the big thing is, like, a lot of this stuff is very, very marines -y and military and military. -a. Don't care for that, but this one kind of looks pretty cool. It's a uh, overall drop. Feet, <laughs> feet first into hell. Yeah, man. Uh, that's exactly the way to go. If you're going to go for a halo drop, that's actually where you're going to be falling. So yeah, um, shock troopers. Of course, the shock troopers uh, are probably... I don't like the phrase of shock troopers for a positive thing. Shock troopers shouldn't be positive. They're actually kind of like designed to attack and destroy rather than actually liberate and protect. <laughs> I think that's a little, um, a little too uh, presumptuously uh, associated with goodness whenever it's uh, probably a little bit more destructive. But yeah, I actually like that t-shirt. It's not too bad. It's a, again, plain black, white design, uh, very, very simple, printed on with uh, single streaks and stuff. It feels nice and raised. It feels like it'll actually last a reasonable couple of washes. Um, of course, it is a Loot Crate exclusive, for this design. So yeah, you can only get it in Loot Crate. So if you're actually a fan of Halo, like, that's it. I like that design. That's what that's what I, I walk around in, perfectly cool with. Um, simple, uh, elegant, but uh, very monochrome. And um, I'm feeling I'm feeling upbeat. Whenever I'm upbeat, I'm feeling a little bit more colorful. And whenever I'm feeling a bit more colorful, those t-shirts tend to get left by the wayside a little bit. So let's of course grab the and grab the second thing that was actually feeling like it was clothing. So uh, what was this here? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, right. So yeah, <laughs> uh, lunch pants. Man, yeah. Okay. Um. I have given them shit about this in the past, but lounge pants, man. Yeah, baby, I, I can get a, I can get on with lounge pants. Um, I, I've become I've become a convert to the pleasures and delights of not wearing jeans twenty four seven or not wearing trousers all the time, being able to sit and relax in my own home. And uh, I don't go out in them, but these look pretty damn comfortable. Um, nice, really good um, strap and waistband to them. They obviously are a little bit oversized because I buy my shirts a little bit oversized because I like them baggy. These are pretty damn long, so I'm, I might have to turn up the cuffs of my own lounge pants a little bit to get them to not be trailing on the floor or anything and getting dirty. But yeah, they have the design feet first into hell. Probably better actually putting it here on the crate so you can maybe see it a little bit better. But yeah, ODST matches up with the t-shirt. So this is actually um, a lounge pant and t-shirt combo. That's pretty cool. Um, I like that. Oh, they actually, <laughs> I just noticed it actually has a fly in the pants. But yeah, those are, that's pretty cool. Um, do they have pockets? Oh, do they have pockets? Don't, don't tease me. I felt like, a, yes, they have pockets. They are true lounge pants. They are truly for the loungiest of lounging. Um, I'm happy with that. You, get, you can't, if you buy, if you put lounge pants in your crates, you really are kind of going to get, you're the kind of person who won't go out and buy these things. But you'll probably wear them whenever we actually send them to you. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes you will. I, I don't want to go outside anymore. I want you to bring the boxes to me. If I was that kind of person, I'd be going to big box stores trying to find this really cool random shit. No, if you post it to me, you might as well get me the pants so I can just sit where while I'm opening up the boxes. This is a good idea. Well done. Well done to you, Loot Crate. You thought this one through. So yeah, uh, what else we got in here? We've got the Battle for Earth. Oh, hang on, what? All right, so I actually got two pins in this month's crate. So this one has a one year subscription bonus. So that is for the one year subscription, the six crates. They send that out to anybody who's registered for those that I'm adding. And then today's the Battle for Earth code pin as well. So they actually they make pretty nice big pins for the Halo ones. Oh, like, unlike the other crates, or unlike the main crate, they don't have anything associated with them. But uh, it's kind of, kind of nice to get. 
So uh, we've got a tube here. Of course, we've probably got some art inside it. Let's see what they sent. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, well, we'll save that for after. Um, I thought they were like doing the same thing as all the other posters, just doing a fold up, but they aren't. They're actually doing something different. Oh, hang on. I need to lift this up and move this out of the way. And, ooh, ooh, ooh. Does that have a code in it? Yes, it does have a code on it. So, Halo 5 Guardians. Uh, of course, they have rec packs in it. Uh, essentially, people are claiming it was like a pay to win thing, but you get uh, items for like using it in battle. Do you know what I'm going to do for you guys? Can you read it from here? No, you can't. So, yeah, if you guys can read that code, first person to get it. Make sure you put it in the comments that you got it so other people don't keep bloody trying for it. Um, one free rec pack to the audience. That's my gift to you guys. If nobody can see this in the video, I'll probably, I'll, I'll put up a wee giveaway on it on Instagram. I'll check to see if it's gone yet. Well, that's, a, that's the best I can do for you guys. So yeah, rec packs for free for peoples that want them. And of course, our little hill legendary figures from 343 Industries and Microsoft Studios. Um, yeah, the, as you can see, I don't have it out of its box um, for the Halo icons, the uh, red and blue. This one is of the character that Mal Reynolds plays, um, Captain Hammer. Actors' names completely failing me right now. I feel like shit. <laughs> Nathan Fillion, good god! Oh, like I felt like my brain cells actually slowly frying themselves whenever it was like slowly cooking trying to get this connection like a little kind of like spark between the two ideas I, No, I'm annoyed at myself, but yeah, his character appeared in Halo 5 um, Well, no, hang on, was he in... No, he was in Halo 5 So I uh, want to do something manly and impulsive, of course you do So unleash ODST Gunnery Sergeant Edward Buck and put some boots on the ground for the battle for Earth I Remember Buck plays well with others, collecting and connecting with other Halo icon figures so yeah, they all go together in a diorama. Um, this is the set, <laughs> this will be the first figure I got. I haven't actually got a Mal Reynolds figure yet for Firefly, but I've got a figure of him in this, which is weird. I really thought that would be the other way around <laughs> before I actually get around to him. Though obviously the you know, a generic red versus blue doesn't really do it for them anymore. So yeah, um, yeah, Halo Icons. That figure is probably going to be going up on the shelf with the other ones uh, just as soon as I feel like actually making a diorama out of them rather than just having them sit in boxes there. I think they sit really fine and in good view as is. But um, yeah, that's most of the stuff in the crate. Uh, last thing here is, what is this? It's like a Velcro patch. I'm just gonna check this here. I assume this is an ODST patch. Oh yeah. So yeah, it is. It's two Velcro patches for ODST. All right, so that's the ODST one comes with it, and then a little kind of like, yeah, hmm, board patch. But yeah, I'm assuming this actually like irons on on one side and Velcro's off on the other. But yeah, it's uh, just Velcro, two pieces. Okay, um, small little bits and pieces that actually look nice for ornamentation. I imagine if there's uh, people who do ODST armor, they'll probably like that a lot, like cosplayers and stuff, but um, yeah, whatever, fairly interesting. So yeah, the last thing, of course, in the crate is this piece of art, the Halo Legendary crate. Uh, it looks like a bit of a battle for Earth from the ODST. So this is probably from Halo ODST, actually, like, themed crate for um, the actual game. ODST, considering, like, how heavily it focuses on those kind of characters. Um, what we have here is the Stick It Metal pin with a gold variant version that actually has... Uh, that I didn't receive. There is the ODST t-shirt, ODST hell pants. <laughs> I like them being called hell pants. From now onwards, they're not lounge pants, they're hell pants. Uh, Halo 5 Guardians rec pack, Halo morale patches. Uh, so assume those are the patches that you can get whenever you actually choose your uh, gamer tag and stuff. Uh, Halo icons, ODST book, and a UNSC data drop regarding some locations, and a advertisement for the ultimate edition of Halo Wars 2, which includes, uh, yeah, Halo Wars 1 and Halo Wars 2 season pass. Yeah, um, well, I'm never going to be playing that. Um, I, like, I like the idea of the Halo Wars series, the um, RTS Halo games, but um, I didn't really get into the first one, and I'm not going to care <laughs> the next one when it comes out. Of course, the cinematics in the trailer looks really, really good for it, but um, yeah, it's a, it, I think it's a, no, it's a PC and Xbox exclusive, and those are consoles that I don't... I, I, if you might notice in the channel, I don't cover them as often or at all because one, I don't have the one anymore and I 
don't play PC games. Uh, well, I do play PC games, but I don't do recordings of them and playing them broadcast because I need to have a basic work computer that doesn't get loaded up with games all the time. So kind of like it reduces my PC playing time. If um, if this channel takes off, of course, I'd be the first purchase would be would be a separate system so I could start doing more PC games. But you know, let's see how that works out. Um, yeah, so. That was the last bit of stuff in the Halo crate for this month. I like the design on the inside. It looks pretty cool. Um, I'm assuming that's actually a ODST soldier with the knife and stuff out. It doesn't really look like a, a Master Chief. But um, yeah, I like the I like the contents of this crate. Uh, the Hell Pants, definitely on board with that. It's more more lounge pants, folks. Um, get me more cool, interesting designs. Get them looking good like that, you know? Get, give me something that's uh, unique and interesting and mad. Whenever I say unique, these are, of course, bought from like a, a chain store, so. <laughs> But yeah, Halo, good and grand, happy days. I'm looking forward to seeing what's else in the next crate, but of course, like, they're gonna be two months from now, so we'll probably see another one of those in January, uh, because it'll be a December crate, but it'll arrive in January because of transmit times for here. And um, that's pretty much all. That's all we got for you today here on the channel. If you want to see more stuff like this, well, like this, specifically unboxing, you can just watch the rest of the playlist for the Loot Crate unboxings. There's a whole line of them all together. But over here on the side, there's actually a bunch of other stuff that I do, uh, mostly video games and reviews and kind of different ways to look at video games and long plays and talking about the music and games and the visuals and games. So you can look over here for information about that. Or of course, you can actually hit the subscribe button that's something somewhere around here, probably sitting right on top of my face. I'll put it here for now. Hit that button, hit it as hard as you can, punch it, punch, punch my face for a subscription, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.